Good evening. Good evening. This is Brett and Cindy, 10 Living Proverbs Study. Back on Proverbs. On wisdom again. No, we're on uh, chapters. Being a, we're on being a fool. <laughs> well, you gotta have a little bit of wisdom where yeah. you'll end up a fool. It mostly discusses being a fool. Chapter 17 and 18. I found a verse I really like towards that. And that verse I made reference to the other night. A merry heart doth good like a medicine, but a broken spirit drives the bones. That oh, actually is in 1722. I knew it was coming in here somewhere. And then, uh, oh, it's... 13 was one that got me. 13. Whoso regardeth evil for good, evil shall not depart his house. Rewardeth or from his house. Whosoever rewardeth evil for good. I guess, in other words, if that means if somebody does something nice for you, you turn around and kind of kick them in the face for it, then the bad stuff will keep coming back to you. I think it's kind of backwards. Backwards? Whosoever rewardeth evil for good. You reward somebody for doing bad, which means you... You're okay with it. You're agreeing with it. Oh. That could mean your children. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. I know we can't go there, but... If you, if you hmm. keep get rewarding a misbehaving child, they're just going to continue to misbehave. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like the more they get away with it, the more they're going to get away with. Yeah. Yeah. And then I like 27. He that no... He... That hath knowledge spareth his words, and a man of understanding is of excellent spirit. The 28 got me. Even a fool, when he holdeth his peace, is counted wise. And he that shutteth his lips is esteemed a man of understanding. You know, <laughs> when he first started dating, Brett, I called him the king of the one word answers. Because he could answer any question with one word. I'd say, how was your day? Good. And even when we got to talking about, um, what would you like to know, who, what kind of person would you like to marry or something like that? I answer with this big, long, elaborate answer, you know, someone who takes care of me, someone who respected me. And then I to put it back on him and say, well, who would you like to see marry? Who would you like to, or what kind of woman would you like to marry? I think that's what the question was. He asked me what kind of man I wanted to marry. And I said, somebody I was, you know, long late. And I, I had come back to, who would you like to marry? And he said, you. And I was just like, okay. So I have to learn to not speak so much and, and, and learn to be more quiet like he is. But now, 18, ah, the end of 18 got me. I think that went the first. Oh, the first. Verse 5 of 18. It's about the same thing I brought up a little ago. It is not good to accept the person of the wicked to overthrow the righteous in judgment. Oh, yeah. If you just keep accepting that someone does something bad to you, they're going to continue doing that bad thing to you. I got to 21. Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. We're always saying you can speak life or death to a situation just by the words you choose. I guess you chose 22 to go with it, huh? Yes. <laughs> Whoso findeth the wife findeth the good thing and obtaineth favor of the Lord. I'm sure you marked that one. <laughs> I did. You found the good thing when you found me, baby. I got you out of your shell. Mm -hmm. You talk a lot more now than you did. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know I couldn't have passed that up. They say behind every good man is a good woman. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's not commenting too much on that one. That's wisdom. <laughs> a man that has... <laughs> On oh, the last verse, a man that hath friends sh must show himself friendly, and there is a friend that sticketh closer than a brother. You hear that in a lot in preaching. Yeah. I'm not sure what they was preaching the last time I heard it. But... Well, it's talking about, 
if you want to have a friend, you got to be a friend. Mm -hmm. Reminds me of a saying a friend of mine <laughs> throwed out, uh, have a friend, be a friend, bring a friend to Christ. She had one of those little sayings. I don't know, there's several good verses. Oh, yeah. We just picked up some, it just really stood out to us. But I was kind of tickled to see it actually change the heading, because the heading in my Bible for 17 said the consequences of being a fool. And 18 was how fools live. Mm -hmm. Simple terms, I like that. I like it. Simple. I did it. Yet, very powerful. Yep. But, those are just some thoughts that we got from... Like I said, it stood out to us. 17 and 18. We'd love to hear what you thought. Comment below this video and tell us what you think about Proverbs 17 and 18. We pray that you have a good evening. God bless. God bless.